Hi everyone, welcome to VC Dial Configuration Series Part 4. In the previous lesson, we have learned how to create a campaign, log into the agents panel, and do a manual call. There is another method of manual call that we call it preview dialing. In preview dialing, we can load the customers that we want to call and agents can call them by one click instead of entering the customer's number manually. In VC Dial, we name customers as leads. And a bunch of leads need to be loaded in a list. In this video, first I will show you what is preview dialing. And then we will load the leads into the VC Dial. Thank you for watching this video and please subscribe and hit the like button if you find these series of videos useful. Let's see what is preview dialing and how it will help the agents. How it will speed up the dialing. Uh, in order to test the preview dialing, log in as agent. Phone and the user ID that we have created in the previous lesson. We select the demo campaign. Our phone will ring. We will answer and we will minimize our soft phone. I have already loaded the customers into the campaign. And here, at the first step, I just want to show you what is preview dialing. When you log into the campaign, you will see this button, dial next number. Also, you can click lead preview. It means that before I call a customer, I want to see who I'm calling to. So click the lead preview and click dial next number. As you can see, it will automatically load the next customer information for me. I have not all the information for customer. I just have the name, family name, address, city, email address, and phone. So that's it. I have loaded this information and system will show me uh, the information that I have loaded. If I want to dial a lead, I can dial, and of course it will dial the number and the normal process. And as you know, after dialing, you can you need to set a disposition. For example, it was a salesman, and then I'm ready to do the next dialing. So I don't need to go to the manual dial, enter the number, and have all of that hassles. Me as an agent, I just need to click dial next number. It will automatically load the next customer information that I need to dial. If you don't select lead preview, it will dial immediately. But if you select lead preview, it will show you first. And if you want, you can dial. Or if no, you can skip. For example, previous one I have dialed, but this one I want to skip the lead. So if I skip, okay, it's not dialing that customer. And I'm ready to uh, dial the next customer. So that's what we call it preview dialing. Okay, let's learn how we can import the customer information into the VC dial. In order to lead the customer information, first we need to create a list. So log in, in the admin panel and select list. Select add a new list. Give it the ID, for example, 10,001. It should be digits, as you can see, digits only. Give it the name, for example, demo list one. Description can be the same. And campaign, we want to assign to the campaign and Yes, we want our list to be active. What is list? List is the place that you can load your customer's information. We call customers leads in the VC dial. So, where are my customer's information? The customer information, you can save in a text file or in an Excel file. The format should be CSV. So the first line 
you can put the information that you have. For example, I just have first name, family name, phone number, email, city, address, postcode. These are the information that I have. As you can see, I have separate them with comma. All of them. So the first line is the uh, topic of the other lines. Next one is your data. For example, the first line is omit my family name, my phone number, my email address. And as you can see, all of them are separated by comma. So this is the next custom information. Alex. So you can add as much as you want here. Of course, you can do the same into an Excel file as well. Let me just open the same file in Excel. This is how we are showing the file in Excel file. So I have the first line and also the information. So I have just two customers now, Omid and Alex, that I want to load into the system. So after you have prepared your lead, lead file, that is an Excel file in a CSV format, when I'm saying in a CSV format, it means that you just need to save the file with the .csv format. Then if you open it in Excel, it, it will automatically open in the CSV. So after my leads are prepared and ready, and I have created my list, I need to select load new lead. So again, list. First we have created a list and then we want to load. We click on load new lead. In this step, the first item, you can choose your file. So I will choose my file. I put it in my desktop, sample lead. Then the list that I want to insert. This is the list that I have just created, 10,001, demo list one. So I created the list. I select custom layout. Here you can check for duplicate. And I click submit. Of course, I don't want to do any duplicate check for now, so I just click submit. In the next step, you can map, actually you have to map the fields that you have in your Excel file to the fields that we have in our agent panel. As you can see, we have, for example, address, first name, last name in our agent panel, the same fields you can see here. So I want to map, for example, the phone number to the phone number that I have in my Excel file. First name to the first name. Last name to the family name. Address to address one, because here in the agent panel, you can see we have three fields for address. Address one, address two, and address three. But I just have one address, so I it's optional. I can put it in the address, address one. So I map the address in my Excel file to the address one in my panel. City, yes, I had the city. And also email address. I had the email address and another one is the postal code. Postal code, my field in the Excel file is postcode. So here I have mapped my Excel file to, to the system. And I click OK process. You can see the result. Two good leads and one bad. Total three. It's totally normal. You always have, with this method that I uh, taught you, you always have one bad lead. And what is that bad lead? Actually, this is the first line, because the first line is just for us to know which, one, which fields we want to map. We don't need to memorize, for example, the first name is uh, name, the second one is family name. So it's not important for now. It's just a reporting. You already know why this is bad. And that's it. You have loaded the customers into your list. So if I go again to my list, I can see list 1001 and if I come down here you can see I have two leads and they have not called and they are dialable means they are ready to be dialed 
also because I have selected this to the campaign that I want if I go to my campaign and I select demo campaign and in the list here I can see list ID 10001 is assigned to my campaign and it has two leads to be dialed just remember when we are loading the leads into the VC dial it will take about one minute to load fully into the system so one option you you'd better change is the minimum hopper level by default it's set to one it means that it will load one lead by one lead that's problematic if you have a lot of agents it's better to set a higher level for example 50 100 500 based on your list and the number of agents that you have it won't harm so you can set to 500 and then submit and yes your system is ready for preview dialing